Hey guys, welcome again. This is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today, I want to talk about purchasing a casket. Have you heard of FTC, the Federal Trade Commission? This is something that we have to know. When I lost my daughter, Cynthia, I didn't know. There was never an idea um, that, oh, I need to look for a casket somewhere because it wasn't something that I was prepared for. It wasn't something that I thought was ever going to happen to me. Um, but down the road, I know the other people who who planned, who, you know, the other families or other other people that are so organized that they, they plan everything from when you're born, from the date you're going to die. They plan, they make sure there's a will, um, there's a life insurance, um, there's a burial plot, there's a casket, there's just so many things that other people are able to do and majority of us don't especially coming from Africa again I keep on reflecting going back to Africans because I am from Africa and I'm here to share my experience but it's one good thing that I learned and I want others to know about it it's an opportunity if you choose to do it did you know you can purchase your own casket they, there's so many companies online that you can get a casket from. And by law, the funeral home cannot, I repeat, cannot refuse you to bring a casket. There's one company, I'm not paid for, for saying this, but I'm here to share information. Um, it's called Overnight Casket. Overnight Casket will deliver the casket, like the name says, overnight. And it's free shipping nationwide. And one good thing with this, pro uh, with this program to me, I'm looking at the, the people, like some, sometimes when you lose someone, you're here in the United States and you want to transport the body back home to Africa. It's very expensive. If you can shop around for a casket, you're saving money, you're saving a lot of money. The caskets that you find online, uh, let's say it was $3,000 or $4,000, you can purchase it online for $1,900. But if you choose to do that, you have to be organized. You have to arrange with the funeral home. Let them know you want to purchase your own casket. They cannot tell you no, because the Federal Trade Commission allow you as an individual to purchase your own casket for your loved ones. Costco also um, sell caskets online. Walmart. So these are things that we have to know. Because I know when you are in that situation of bereavement or that situation that you cannot even think outside the box because your mind your soul you, you you you're a different person remember your life has changed you don't think that way all you're looking now is to do the best you can do but in that same moment it's a time for you to check your finances see how you can save money compare prices Go to the funeral home, select the casket. If you choose to do a barrier with a casket, select the casket, ask for the price. Now compare what they're offering you from this funeral home and what you can get online. And if you finally choose to get it online, there are things that you have to know. First, you want to find out how soon can that casket be delivered? You want to let 
the funeral home know you purchasing your own casket. You want to also give the funeral home the name of the company that will be delivering the casket. What time that casket will be arriving. You want to find out, are you supposed to be present at the funeral home when that casket arrives? You want, to, you want to make sure all of these things are set up because once everything is organized, I'm telling you, you're going to get a smooth process that will save you time, will save you money, and will also save you headache. When, when you're ordering your casket online, try as much as possible to speak to someone from that company because the questions that you may want to find, you, you may want to know about, you want to find out when does that office close? How late can you put in your order? How are you going to make that payment? Do they accept personal checks? Do they deliver caskets? to all the 50 states in the US or 51 states. I know at that moment, you're not in a point of sitting and thinking of everything I'm telling you today, because guess what? I never knew all this, but my goal here is to help others who may be going through that as of the moment or down the road in the future. You want to get the name of the deceased, the first and last name. You want to get the contact number of the funeral home person. You want to also share that information with the funeral home, information of where this casket is coming from. Because when you do this, you are helping yourself financially, you're helping your family. I personally, like I said before, I did not purchase a casket online and the reason is because I never knew about it. But we were fortunate because the owner of the funeral home that I used, that we used for my daughter's funeral, was a classmate of my son. So we were fortunate a lot that they helped us, they gave us a discount. They even gave us an extended hour for us to do the um, funeral services. So again, think about it. Find out more information. I am going to put some of the links. I'm not being paid for this. I am going to put the link for the overnight casket, the contact number. You click on that link. And, and, and the good thing is you, you have varieties, variety of caskets. I cannot believe me sitting here talking about casket because I remember God is wonderful. I remember when my daughter passed away at the funeral home, the day I went there to choose her casket. They took me into this room with different designs of caskets and colors. When I got there, I passed out. because I could not imagine myself standing there trying to choose a casket for my daughter. But here, here I am today telling you, my viewers, on what to do and where to get a casket, how to save money. So we are here to share ideas and I hope this is going to help you. If it's not you, you can share this video to someone else. You can share it to your family members. You can share it to your friend. Let people know that yes, we have that right as consumers to purchase a casket for our loved ones. And a funeral home does not have the right to refuse to receive your casket by law. They cannot do that. Another thing, if you get because because when you are in this in this situation, that's when the people out there just to make money. 
Oh yes, oh tell me, oh I'm so sorry for your loss, I feel for you. They're behind their mind on their head. They're thinking of that numbers. They're thinking of that, how much am I gonna get out? Which, which is okay, that's their job, that's their business. But as a consumer, we wanna be smart. We wanna be smart when we're happy purchasing. We wanna be smart when we're sad purchasing because when you are sad that's when you become vulnerable just like my last video i talked about how the the the, the cells um the gentleman at the cemetery how he convinced me to purchase four extra plots so that myself and the rest of the family we are going to use that plot and be together with Cynthia because then my mindset I wasn't reasoning good I was emotionally drained so they take that opportunity because they know this is a good time to get whatever they can get from you but there are some good ones out there but all I'm saying is that we just got you just got to be careful make sure you have your loved ones you have someone there to walk with you, you have friends, you have, ask questions. Talk to somebody who has gone through that. That's what, what I do now when I hear a mother lost a child, even if I don't know this person, and you tell me, oh, so and so just lost their baby. I just want to jump and get into my car and drive right there because I know exactly what that mother is going through at the moment because I once was one of that mother. I was in that situation before. So just make sure nobody dupes you. Make sure you ask questions. Make sure you do your research. I am not an expert, but I'm just giving my experience as a mother whose daughter passed away three and a half years ago. I'm just here to let you know what I didn't do that if I knew I should have done. So guys, that's all I have for today. Please subscribe, like, send your comment. I will appreciate because we are all here to learn. Every family has a story and welcome to ours.